Christmas Brownies! This is the Concert Cruiser, and welcome back to Hook Rock, where I look at the songs of MLP. And for this Christmas, I am finally going to look at the MLP Christmas album, It's a Pony Kind of Christmas. Now, because we're dealing with a bunch of songs, this is going to be a three-part episode. And because that most of these songs don't have music videos, we're just going to have to stick with fan-made lyric videos. Now then, the fact that MLP made a Christmas album is not surprising. Hasbro is a toy company, after all, and most Christmas songs are in the public domain, which means they don't have to pay extra fees to songwriters. But because of this, artists have milked this music for all it's worth. Santa Claus is coming to town. I'll have a blue Christmas. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul. In the light, snowy Christmas, a beautiful sight. They just use it as a means to restock bank accounts and fulfill contractual obligations. Because of this, Christmas music has this stigma of being quickie cash grabs. But does this fall into that? Let's find out. Buddy. Right out of the gate, we get an original song, which to me shows more effort than most others. It's a pony kind of Christmas in every color shade. Plus, we have all of the main six singing and they each sing their own solo. Now, normally when they do this, they slightly tweak the music to reflect the character's personality. However, they didn't do that this time. It's a solid Christmas song all the way through. When the light of friendship burns bright Taking time for family To recall the past and do what's right the only negative thing I have to say is while every character does get their own solo line, they're all original except for my favorite character, Rainbow Dash. Her lines came from an already established Christmas song. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. And from her own song at that. I think they could have done better than a few lines from Jingle Bells. But still, we're off to a good start. Buddy. Next up, we got Rainbow Dash doing a rock rendition of Jingle Bells. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Which is appropriate, but there's two places where the song loses me. Ding! Ashley's performance. It sounds like she's trying to come up with the lyrics right on the spot. Go grab Applejack. compare her performance with someone who has a bit more confidence in her delivery. Go grab Applejack, who's hiding in the barn. Put her in the back, and leave behind the farm. Sky is clear and blue, and the wind is at our tails. Ponies hold on tight because we're about to tip the scales. See what I mean? It sounds like she's trying to resist singing the old lyrics rather than the new ones. And speaking of which... Ding! The new lyrics. What is she doing to her friends? Thought I'd grab some friends and take them for a ride. Not so sure what's up as ponies run and hide. They are actively trying to escape from her. I'm sure they pictured Rainbow just being cartoony, but considering how much fans have turned her into a punching bag, this just adds fuel to the fire. That being said, everything else about this song is great. The instrumentation is fantastic. One, two, one, two, three, four. The bridge is good. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. And the tempo picks up when she says speed up. Start speeding up as colors start to show. Nice 
Nice touch. The music is good, but the performance and lyrics could have been better. Buddy. Musically, this is perhaps the most creative. The sound gets progressively bigger as the song goes on. Watch. First, we get a guitar filling in for the fa la la's. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Next, they bring in a choir. Christmas days around the corner. Then they add a bass. Bring the tree in front and center. La, 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 la. And it goes all the way up to a horn section. Oh. Combine this writing with Kazumi Evans' whimsical voice and you get a fantastic Christmas song. It really is the type of song that needs to be played through a sound system in order for it to be appreciated. Buddy. Excellent rendition. I love the enthusiasm in Twilight's voice. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It sounds like she's really been looking forward to this all year. It's perhaps the best performance in the whole album. But it's not the best song on the album. Why? Because of the ending. We wish you a Merry Christmas. You can barely hear Twilight over the music. Maybe that was intentional, but listen to what happens when we turn up her mics. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Doesn't that sound better? It's still soft like the music, but you can hear her this time. Buddy. This song was a close second to being the best song on the album. Andrea's singing voice for Fluttershy is just beautiful. And Silent Night was the perfect song for her. It already sounds like a lullaby, and with her maternal charm... It's a match made in heaven. But this song is not without flaws. She sounds a bit too low in the mix at times. And I think it's too short. The song clocks in at 2 minutes and 57 seconds, but maybe I'm being a bit too nitpicky. Because I'm not sure what you could add to the song so it feels natural and not like padding. I mean, heck, they even added a bridge. definitely bumped it up. So maybe it's just me. All that being said, it's still a beautiful song. Ho, 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 ho. This is Christmas Eve's Headbangers Ball. What do we have next, Zach? I don't know. I think we should give uh, Kiss a Christmas present. What yeah, what we got in this sack? Hey, Paul, Paul, Paul Sailor, you can use this on his next girlfriend, man. What All right. All right, here we go. We got Kiss. Let's put the X back in sex. Go for it, boys. <laughs> ho, 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 ho.